Hi everybody, Adam here. Today we're taking a look at an awesome Lego book called The Lego Architecture Idea Book by Alice Finch. This book was published by No Starch Press and this is a really amazing book for any Lego builder. It covers so many different ideas and ways to add amazing little details and elements to your brick built buildings. And you know, First off, the picture on the front cover here, really epic, amazing build. And as you go inside the front cover here, you will see some more amazing pictures. And these are just a sampling of some of the really impressive uh, structures and details that uh, Alice talks about throughout the, the book. And it's just really impressive to see what a wide uh, variety of topics that she's able to cover in here and really very inspirational. And the other thing that's worth noting is the photography in this book is really well done. So many great pictures uh, like these ones here just to, you know, really drive home all the points and details that she's making throughout the book. And, you know, they really offer a lot of inspiration and help for you as you're uh, going through this book for ideas. Now, you can read through this book in its entirety and just lots of amazing things to see, but it also really serves as a reference book. You know, it's like, oh, I'm going to be working on this area of a building. What are some of the options that I can consider using for it? And, you know, it can give you a lot of ideas and pointers on, on those specific areas that you're working on. It's very well organized from looking at the table of contents here. You can see the first section goes through brickwork, talking about different types of walls that you can build. Then uh, looking at wall cladding and shingles. So various types of surfaces that you can create on your walls, of your exterior walls of your buildings, as well as on the roof. Curved walls, really impressive section. Really love this and I need to try out some of these ideas. Uh, I think they would look really cool. And then it carries on. We've got framing and paneling, patterned walls, molding and mill work. Simple windows, custom windows, ornamental windows, window framing and decor, doors, columns. It's just really impressive just the uh, the sheer volume of types of build structures and details that she's managed to cover in here. And we got towers, basic roofs, domed roofs and spires, and roof decorations. Really wide variety of topics here. And let's take a closer look at a few of these sections just to get an idea of the types of detail and topics that she covers. So the first section of the book is brickwork. And again, you know, with these chapter headings, you get uh, another sense of the excellent photography that can be found throughout the book. Really impressive to see. And, uh, you know, these scenes are really, really cool. And they show off some of the techniques that you, uh, you learn in that chapter as well. And looking at the first section of brickwork here, you can see... All the little subsections in each chapter are broken down nicely. We've got a really great heading here with a brief description of what's going on. And then lots of little example snippets uh, to show you different options that you can, uh, you can choose when building, like in this case, simple brick walls. So you've got the, the one by two modified brick with masonry, the grill modified brick, then showing if you went to use jumper plates, what that would look like. The modified log brick. Another modified brick there with the sloped end. And the modified brick with the groove. And, you know, just really impressive to see this collection of brick wall ideas. And, you know, just looking through this, so many ideas pop into my head. And it, uh, I think it's a really, really well laid out book from that perspective. Lots of, uh, you know, well packed in details that can give you a lot of inspiration or ideas for how to tackle a particular problem. And then if we look over here, you know, the next section is talking about decorative relief. 
And so, you know, it's showing you ways that you can use specific bricks to uh, add some texture and details to those walls. And these pages here are very representative of what you're going to find for all the other sections throughout the book. So, you know, really well done. But now let's take a look forward at a few of the other chapters. So next up, we've got the molding and millwork chapter. Again, really amazing photography here. The builds that, uh, that she has for each section uh, are really impressive, uh, really great examples of the topics that she's covering within the, the, the section. And, you know, here we've got horizontal molding. And, you know, as an example, uh, you know, she's got these, these laid out uh, examples here, like before, but she does also go into greater detail in a few of these sections talking about, uh, you know, more details on, in this case, building sideways. Uh, but, you know, she has these little breakout sections to go into further detail when, when necessary. So it's really great. I mean, you know, by having these small little picture uh, examples, she can pack a lot into a small space and cover a lot more topics. But, you know, with these little breakout areas to go into greater detail, uh, it really helps if something's a little more complicated and harder to understand just in a picture example. Um, so, you know, really great book for uh, not only more experienced builders, but also newer builders who may not be familiar with some of the techniques and parts that are going on. So, you know, really happy overall with this level of detail. And here's another example of some of the awesome section photography that she has. It, uh, this is the section on columns. Really, really impressive work here. You can see the, uh, the columns at play here, but the overall image and build uh, that's in this picture is really impressive. Love the, uh, the fencing around the edge of the, the deck area that they're on and just some of these details up on the side of the, the building are really impressive. And even the, even the shingles that you can see up on the roof here. So, you know, really impressive photography work and uh, the, the builds that she has as examples are again, you know, just really impressive to see and very inspiring. And taking a quick look at the back of the book, it gives you several more examples of some of the amazing topics and details that she covers throughout the book and you know just overall super impressed with uh, the quality of this book and the amount of uh, techniques and topics that it references throughout so that concludes our look at the lego architecture idea book by alice finch can't recommend this book enough it's super amazing packed with lots of great pictures and details a great reference book for both experienced builders and newer builders. And, you know, whether you're reading through it from end to end to just see the, the sheer volume of interesting uh, details and techniques or just using it as a reference material to pop in and get some ideas or thoughts on a particular type of uh, detail that you're adding to a building, you know, it works for all of those. It's uh you know, just really impressive. And I, you know, again, can't recommend it enough. So thank you very much for watching. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please make sure to do so so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. And thanks again. We'll see you soon. Bye.